my name is Adat, and you may know me as Netter's Plays. And today on Applied Mechanics, I'm going to go over the game of Caverna, Cave vs. Cave. So this game deals with resource management along with tile placement, but in a unique and different way. So let me show you a little bit about this game and why I really like it. So first you're going to start off with your action board. You turn over the first tile here. It's going to tell you how many actions you will have this turn. And then from these available five new actions here, you're going to take two of them. These actions are going to tell you what you can pretty much do on your turn. For example, you can excavate, you can use rooms that are already in your cave in order to exchange some resources. But before you start building rooms, which is going to gain you points, you have to excavate. This symbol right here is going to tell you that you can excavate from your cave. By excavating, I mean you can take any one of the tiles that's closest to your entrance of your cave, and you'll take one of those tiles and turn it over, and then it will become available for both players to take and build. Not only are these rooms going to give you points for the end of the game, but they will offer different exchange rates for your resources. The resources that you have are all listed on this track. Right here you have one of each. So sometimes you'll be exchanging one for another. So as you can see, the part that I really enjoy in this game is the exploration or excavation part of the game. Because you need to build rooms, but in order to build rooms, you need to excavate first. You need to make room for them. So in order to do so, you're flipping over these tiles and you can't depend on those tiles because you never know what's going to come up. So there's a hint of press your luck with that too. But you're also offering those tiles to your opponent. So you never really know what you're going to offer to them or what's going to come up. So that makes it interesting and it adds variety to every single game. Of course, there's a resource management in a Ewe Rosenberg game. However, the main focus of the game that I really enjoy is that excavation portion. Well, thank you for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.